action of the day has come out for the Camping World Truck Series. It happens on lap 39, and that's because Steve Wallace cut a right front tire and into the wall he went. The right front tire looks fine, looks fine. Boom, there it goes flat. And look how that thing almost turns dead right. It, look, it really goes straight, but as a driver, you feel like it turned right. You, that's exactly right. You can see uh, this thing just abruptly go the wrong direction. Yeah, and there was no contact between Steven and either one of these other two trucks. When it goes down, though, thank goodness for those safer oh. barriers. The 51 of Eric Almarola into the wall. Now, that was the big question. Would teammates have the same problem? And, and less laps this time, only about 30 laps since our restart. So a lot of times you engineer these things and you design them out to get the most grip and, and put as much load on the tires as you can. Obviously, something went wrong with the design on the front ends of the 51 and 15 trucks because it abused that right front tire, blew it out and caused it to crash. Could have been possibly low air pressure, could have been cam excessive camber, or could have just been the setup. But unfortunately, it looks very much like his teammate, the 15 of Stephen Wallace. You know, these teams, they work their hardest to abuse these Goodyear tires. That's their goal. They want to get all the pressure on those tires they can get. It's going to make it turn through the corner better. Sometimes you overload it with pressure. It makes it fast for a while, but it won't last. And this is the third place man in the points race. Timothy Peters, who came into here 165 points back from Todd Bodine, also having problems. So we just heard from Eric Almirola out of the race. Timothy Peters now potentially a blown motor, bringing out this, the third caution from Iowa. Man, that opens the door for Ron Hornaday again. These, these motors don't usually break. I mean, they're so reliable. So it'll be interesting to see what happened to that 17 truck. Uh, Eric Almirola didn't know that was happening to the 17 truck at the time makes him feel just a little bit better. I mean, these guys are in a championship battle. If if he could see Todd Bodine suffer some sort of problem today, he would feel a lot better. Oh, bounce off the wall. The 62, Greg Persley slides into the infield, and that brings out our fourth caution. Yeah, he was just a victim. They, they got to racing really hard there. The 07 of Donnie Lee got yeah. to the wall. You see the damage on um, Brian Eichler's truck right there. Watch now. Watch the 07 of Donnie Lee. There's Todd, the 30. He, there's Donnie oh. bouncing off the wall, and yep. actually the 18 came across the, the left front corner of Todd's truck, so he was headed towards the outside wall while this happened. But did Todd turn the 07? Take another look. Does Todd turn the 07 into the 18 or the 8? Oh. See, the 07, I think, got into the outside wall, I don't and the 18 came across Todd's nose and turned himself into the outside wall. I think the 07 was the, uh, the least at fault. I don't know that he was going to have any issues. Todd's. Yeah, the 07's fine. Todd I'm not sure he was. I don't think the 07 hit the wall until no. the 18 forced him in the wall. And he didn't let off either. He was having a good run off the corner. Todd stuck his nose into a very, very small hole, and we know how hard it is to keep these trucks down exiting the corner. Watch. Todd's in that little bitty gap there. Man, you can't go there. The 33 of Ron Hornaday just went behind the wall into the garage area. He's got all kinds of left side damage, doesn't he? So our top four in points. Todd Bodine, Eric Almirola, Timothy Peters, Ron Hornaday, all having problems today. <laughs> That's going to tighten this points race up even more.